Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install the PLT script present PLT Farming Job V2. First of all, you need to visit their official website. I'll provide you the link in description. After reaching to the website, you can see the multiple tabs are there. You need to click on Packages. Here you can see there are multiple scripts. But today we are installing the Farming Job V2. Click on it. Here you can see all the features of farming. First of all, you have multiple options to make the script more realistic to server like field and row system, vehicle rent system, payment system, and company system. Also, if you want any help, you can directly join the Discord server. I will provide you the link in description. After that, complete your payment. Click on Add to Cart. Login with your CFX ID also makes you. Then check out after completing your payment, the script will be directly received on your key master ID. Here you can see. I have the script. Just click on download and save it your computer. The script has some special features for the FPS optimization in ongoing servers, so you don't need to worry about the optimizations. Now open the file, then click on it. Now click on Extract here and extract the script here. You can find the two scripts first is the assets, and second is the script. You need to copy them both and paste it to your main server directory, as I am pasting it here. After pasting it, open the main script here. You can find the multiple files. First of all, you need to open their config.lua. So here you can see you have, first of all, the language option. You can choose multiple languages between the provided options. Also, you can directly put your custom languages without any issue placed on the languages.lua folder. After that, you can find the development mode known as also a debug mode. If you are running a server with players, you need to make it, make it sure that you have disabled this feature. If you are testing something, you can make it enable to see the boss or any type of figures that you need to see. After that, you can see the OX target option. Same goes to the QB target option. As I am using the OX target, I'll just false the QB target option for that. After that, you can see the required job option. If you are selected a specific job like farmer, you can directly put it without any issue. But today we are not putting any job for that. I will just leave it as default after that. You can see the required work clothes. If you want to set the requirement for the player to wear the farming clothes before doing the job, you can directly make it true. After that, you can see the proper effects for planting, harvesting, or any type of other activities in farming. You can directly disable the effects to make your server more FPS. After that, you can find the setting tab. It's all about the basic FPS options. First of all is the spawn all objects on the field. If you want to save your FPS on the server and make it more optimized, you can disable all of them by doing false, but I am not doing that for now. I'll show you the proper demonstration with everything on. You can also see my FPS after that. Here you can find the welcome text, you can also enable the welcome text. Also, you can skip this if you want. After that, you can get the tutorial guide for that same goes to the field information. After that, you can find the commands are there, all type of commands, like for the UI opening, setting UI opening. You can just type on farmer for the available work info. You can just type on farmer info for the cancellation of job. You can just type farmer cancel. Same goes to the boss menu. Farmer boss also withdraw money, sell gains, and other things. You can directly to work through this command section also after selling items. You will receive the money on your bank. Same goes to also in cash. So I'll just leave it default for that. I'll just receive it on bank after that. You can get the all money brackets are there. You can set the money bracket based on the tasks that you have done. Same goes to the sales production system. You can set the percentage for this after that. You can find the clothing, but we are just disabled the clothing system for now because we don't have this clothing in my running server. But if you are having a running server, you can directly place your clothing, provide the exact number of your clothing. You can directly use them without any issue. After that, you can find the all detailed job requirements like tractor forklift. If you want a player to have the proper job for the forklift, you can directly set it as a Forklift job or farmer job, it depends on your requirement. Same goes to the harvesting and tractor also. Same goes to the planter. After that, you can find the huge amount of field decorations and field crop conservation. Same goes to the storage system. You can add more storage on your farming field without issue. 
You can also add more field. Its default is set with six to seven field. You can also add more field. It's already hashed out. If you want to enable it, you can directly unhash the coordinates and you can use more than 10 field at a single time. But make sure if you want to use everything in optimal way, make sure to follow the settings and use the less amount of effect that you can have. After that, close the file. You don't need to change anything or configure anything. If you are still having issues, you can follow their documentation. I'll provide the link of the documentation in my description. You can find all the technical details and payments and security related issues. Same goes to the modeling, so you don't need to worry about that. After that, close the file. Now open the stream. You can find all stream data files without any issue. Same goes to the props and maps. So you don't need to worry about the maps or anything. Just copy it and paste it your main server directory as I am pasting it here after that run your server. And let's see how the PLT farmer job works in game. Hey guys, here you can see I am in game. The PLT farming job is working properly without any issue. Now you can see the MLO of PLT farming that's include with the pack. I'll open the main map and here you can see all the blips are there. Here you can find the harvester. Here you can find the main farming job center. Here are the other items like tractors and other things. Also, four clips are there. I'll show you everything with the detail. First of all, I'll just enter the MLO here. You can see a quick menu and help menu popped up here. You can see if you hover on that, it show you everything, all the work process without any issue. Same goes to there. You can find the multiple player supports are there. After that, after that, we need to change our cloth. Of course, I didn't configure the cloth for that, but I still show you the cloth. Here you can see it's automatically changed. If I configure the proper cloth, it's wear a proper cloth. For the rechanging your cloth, you need to just come here and it will automatically rechange the cloth. You can also set the requirement for the job cloth. After that, we need to go to the tractor section. You can see multiple tractors, trailers, and overclips are there. We need to rent a tractor. Click on it and we rented a tractor. You can see the working principle of tractor showed right there. I'll show you the proper work principle without any issue. First of all, we need to go here. First of all, we need to harvest, start harvesting our field for that. We need to connect this. Here you can see I connected it for the control of this backend trailer you can. And eight on numpad five here, you can see after that, you need to go to the field and place it properly. Here you can see a marker showed up and make sure put it down in the ground and you can see it started. You can see the proper working without an issue. It started farming and you can feel the drag also. After completing this job, you will quickly get your paycheck for this job. So you can get your paycheck every time. You can also set it as a proper paycheck through the cash. Now I quickly do the farming job for this trailer. Also, you can see the statistics of the trailer, how much quantity it has. You can see the capacities are properly working. You can see the tank capacity is 244 kilograms and it's almost 81% empty. We need to properly align this. You can see the proper plant is growing after completing this work. We need to empty our tank for that. We need to go to the tanker here. You can see it shows the proper placement here. You can see here, you can see it's emptied the full container and it's 100% capacity. Now we can drop this container and do our next work. Here you can see weeds are growing properly. After that, we will just deposit our truck again to use our harvester machine. Here you can see I deposited the truck. Now I need to do the harvesting. Here you can see the harvesting machine. I need to rent it. Here you can see I rented it. You can see the capacities are there. Here you can see all our crops are there. Now we need to start harvesting them here. You can see it's working properly. You can see the how much land we harvested. It also shows on the statistics, same goes to the harvesting time capacity. Its default has more than more than six fields. So you don't need to worry about the how much quantity you reduce here. You can see it also leaves the crop trails behind that waste material collected into the machine directly without any issue. It's one of the realistic job that I ever seen. After completing the crop cutting, we need to empty our tank from the harvester. For that here, you can see we need to empty our harvester here. The piper popped up and here you can see it's proper animation. It's emptying the truck. Now we can return the truck. Here you can see we returned our truck and get the deposit money refunded. After that, we need to bring our tractor again to collect the materials. 
Here you can see, now we can collect the materials that are left behind. Here you can see it started properly without any issue. Also, it has a significant amount of capacity. So here you can see it's collected everything. Here you can see it's left behind the crop with the proper animations. Wasted materials that are. You can do it with multiplayer, so make your earning more. Here you can see. I'll just do this fast forwardly. Here you can see we completed our work. Now we can return this to our rented location. Here you can see. Now we need to bring our trailer to collect the waste materials and process them. Here you can see. Get the item dot, place it over the trailer. Here you can see it's collected everything properly without any issue. Now we need to do the process work and we need to take it out from the forklift. First of all, we need to park this trailer. Now we can return our truck. Here you can see we didn't get the forklift. Here you can see I picked up this. Now I need to go to the process area. Here you can see. Here you can see we completed our work. It's working properly without any issue. Also, you can see there is no FPS drops on this server. Also, you can see the constant notification and constant money that you are getting every time without any issue. Also, you can refill the truck from here without any issue. If you put your fuel pump script, you can directly work this also. At the end, thanks for watching. Hope you like our video. If you are having any type of questions or query, you can directly join our Discord server. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.